Betrayal Protocol Part 1 Undercover Tara Jones was the pride and joy of her seemingly ordinary parents. They lived in a beige house with beige art and had spent their careers as rather beige civil servants. A string of good public schools had strategically set Tara's path in life. She had excelled as a student and attended Cambridge University rather more to please others than for her personal ambition. But Tara was a modern, ambitious woman with an independent and assertive mind. It was inevitable that she would be headhunted by the Secret Services. Even as a young teenager, Tara had known the ins and outs of MI5 and MI6, whilst never really knowing her parents' true involvement as spies. Secrecy had been drummed into her as a toddler. We do not speak of our work roles outside the home, father had regularly stipulated. But Tara had been in her cosy desk job for far too long and was itching to get out into the field. It was imminent. There had been a nod from her superiors that there was something coming up. Tara woke with a spring in her step. She had been made aware that someone from Thames House was arriving and her interview was booked in for this morning. Oh, Taz, don't go. Suck my dick, babe. James was good-looking, that was undeniable, but he worked in the city as a lawyer and did too much coke on Fridays when he was with his lawyer mates who would pleasure themselves in glory over gin and case law. Tara's friends referred to him as Tat, a rather derogatory mnemonic for the arrogant twat. Not today, James, Tara winked and touched her pussy, meowing with a grin. Today I have a very important interview with somebody from Thames House and I am about to be elevated to a very important person. James considered a wank but thought better of it. He was punching above his weight with Tara and she was, in his mind, the one. He was already 28 and his mother had started those awful hints that mothers without grandchildren give. I'll make breakfast, he shouted as he watched Tara in the shower, trying to get his designer boxes over the biggest member in West London.